The little old union transformation in Azure Data Factory's mapping data flow is actually a very powerful transform that I think you're going to find can be very useful and powerful when you use it to combine streams of different data. So in Data Factory's data flow, you have the ability to have as many sources as you'd like and add them into your data flows. And those sources can be federated across all kinds of different sources and types of data, but not all the shape of the data is always going to be the same. And so if you want to bring those together into transformations or into syncs throughout your flow, a union is a great way to do that. And there's some restrictions in that, some things you need to be aware of, so I'm going to walk you through some of that. So for this purpose of demonstration, I have two different sources. I have both of these are actually movie, the movie's database. The top one is a movie CSV. Let's take a look at the projection on that. So we have movie title, genre, year, rating, and my least favorite of all, the Rotan Tomato, misspelled with the space and all kinds of bad data in there. Uh, we have string types, shorts, and string. And then the other source is also movies database, but it's actually coming from a database. It's coming from an Azure SQL database. The projection here is a little bit different, slightly different columns, but similar data, something that you might find that you need to do in lake environments very often. So movie title, genre, year, rating, uh, Rotten Tomato corrected, the old Rotten Tomato, and date of ETL because maybe I'm putting a timestamp on these rows. Now the data types are a little bit different too. Uh, we have strings and integers. So when you union data together, uh, the columns and the positions of those columns, if you're going to either union by either name or position, they need to be of, the, of a compatible data type. So I'll get to that in a second. Let's continue through the rest of this flow. So to differentiate between the top and the bottom parts of the flow, the streams of the flow, I have used a derived column to take the title column uppercase if it's the upper stream and to lowercase if it is the lower stream. And then so that I can make sure I get enough rows from, or just a few rows, I should say, within each stream that I can show in the data preview, I have my debug session turned on. And in my debug settings, I've limited my row count, which is typically 1,000. I've lowered it to just 10, so I make sure that I get enough visible on my data preview screen. Then I shape the data with my select transformation, which is my shape shifter for data. Now, what I'm going to do for the first demo here is I'm only going to bring in two columns. The first um, stream on the top for this flow, I have movie first and then title second, both are strings. And then down here in the bottom, I have uh, title in movie. So the difference being that I have the order of them flipped. Everything is a string now. All right. And to do this within the select, you just use the mapping part of the select right here. And this is how I did that. Lastly, let's do a union. The top union is going to be by name. And you select that right here in the union by. And the bottom is by position. All right. So the by name is going to have data factory to match on the incoming column name. So it matched movie and title. And you'll see the first 10 are coming from the upper and the second set of 10 are coming from the lower. So that's pretty easy to understand. Let's go down to the other union and this is the union by position. So a slightly different behavior we have here. And it's not necessarily gonna work for my use case, but just to show you what happens is I uh, union by position. So in the bottom, we know it's the bottom stream because it's all lowercase. The first column position, the first ordinal position is title. In the second, where you have the upper case title name, it, the first ordinal position is movie. So you see the ID is coming into this first column. All right. Now, let's go ahead and let's map the rest of the fields from these, different, these two different streams. So for the top, I'm just going to go back to my select statement. I'll just click on auto mapping so we get everything. And then for the bottom, I'll do the same thing. I'll click on auto mapping. Now we have all the columns. So now when we go to the union and we refresh, let's see what we guess. This is the, the top one is going to be the union by name. So we're going to bring all the different columns. All right, and we got an error. Let's check the error message. Okay, and so we see the reason for the error is because it is coming from the union by name. That's the top union and is incompatible data types. String type and integer type are being found for Rotten tom Tomato. Now, the strange thing about that is that in the source at the top, we do not have a Rotten Tomato, we have just the Rotan Tomato with the space. However, because there is no commonality between those, it is trying to fit um, the column number six together. And so what's happening is in the top select column six, you can see by the inspect on the select is the Rotan Tomato with string. In the bottom, it is Rotten Tomato with integer. So what we can do is if, if we go back into the select at the bottom, 
Let's go into the mapping. So we take the auto mapping off. Let's do a reassess so we get all the mappings. I'll make this a full screen. Uh, now, so if we take off that rotten tomato, now we match up the rotten tomato, tomato, we should be matching these things up now. So when we go over to the union and we refresh, let's see what we get now. Okay, so ADF likes that. And we see that we have rotten tomato falling into um, the column here and then rotten tomato here. And the reason why there is values over here in rotten tomato and not in rotten tomato is because in the top stream, there is no rotten tomato. In the bottom stream, uh, there is. So you can see that matches up with the lower case. How does it look under union by positions? Do you refresh on this? Let's see what we get now that we have all the columns. All right, and when we look at the data from the union by position, we are, uh, because we're on the bottom uh, stream, we are first seeing the lower case, lower part of the flow uh, titles, which have rating run to, uh, tomato, return tomato, and uh, data VTL. And then we scroll down. We now see the top one, the top row, which has the uppercase title, does not have any value for these other two uh, columns at all. So this data of ETL is coming from the bottom stream. It's still there in the outputs, but it's just null the union of the top. So you can see how you can, how you can munch data together in a very interesting way using the union transformation.